Okay, that's better. The last video, for some reason, I got this weird notification square, and now it's gone. So this video is about the frontal bone, which is the bone that makes up your forehead. So the frontal bone used to be two bones divided in half by a suture called the metopic suture. But in the overwhelming majority of adults, the metopic suture is fused and either invisible or nearly invisible. So fuses with maturity. In some cases, the metopic suture persists, and that can be a marker of craniofacial abnormalities from things like fetal alcohol syndrome. Not always, but sometimes. But in most cases, it's gone. So in this case, we don't see the metopic suture. So we have a relatively normal or conventional frontal bone. And so just a friendly reminder, since we talked about joints, um, the absence of the suture presently and the fact that the two halves fused, just to relate this back to our joints, is called a synostosis, meaning fused bones. So it's always good to connect what we're doing in lab to lecture topics, and that's an opportunity to do that. So let's rotate this a little bit. Okay. So the frontal bone forms the top and roof of the orbits. And then above that, there's a little hole on each side. And you can see this person has two complete holes. So not a notch, but a hole. So in this case, we would call this the supraorbital foramen. Foramina is plural, foramen is singular. If it's not complete, so I'm going to put in a little asterisk, asterisk here. If it's not a complete hole, we call it a notch. So in some people, there's two foramina. In other people, there's two notches. In some people, there's one of each. It really just depends on how the ossification moved forward during development. So that's kind of the nuance for these two little foramina here. Um, they have the potential to not be a foramen. They could be a notch. It really just depends on the skull. So let's rotate our little friend here. Um, let's see. Yep. So if I were to divide this in half, like so, so along the mid-sagittal plane, what you would see would be right about here, underneath the area of the forehead between the two brow bones, which is actually called the glabella. Yes, it has a name. But underneath here is the frontal sinus. You just can't see it unless you cut the skull. So I would show this to you either on a skull which, which has had the calvarium removed, so sawn off the top part of the head, the skull cap, or on a sagittally sectioned skull that you would be viewing from the side. So it would look something like this, where you'd have a frontal bone, and then you'd be like, oh, there's a little hole there. And then you'd see the orbit like so. So that's about what it would look like. Regardless, though, I'll make sure that it's a nice, obvious example where you can tell that it's a frontal bone and you can tell that you would only see that airspace if you saw the bone open somehow. So this has been the frontal bone. And I will see you in the next skull bone video.